guys. I just walked in uh, Phuket Old Town right now and you can see this beautiful mural over here of the former king, king of Thailand. And you've got these amazing buildings over here, these just beautifully Portuguese style buildings. It's just incredible uh, around here. And um, I'm back in Phuket basically trying to uh, fly home. So in the next few days we're going to fly home. But we're just going to take a walk around Phuket Old Town. I've actually never been here. Wow, look at this cafe over here. Beautiful. I'm going to go for a bit of a walking tour now. Um, sorry if it's a bit noisy around here. It's, uh, it's quite, quite the busy street down here. But a lot of these beautiful cafes, a lot of these beautiful vintage style buildings around here. And um, I had to do my PCR test just now. So it was around the area, around two kilometers away. So I thought, why not head down to Phuket Town? I got a few days here in uh in phuket before my flight back to back to australia so i'm just gonna walk around the streets and get lost in phuket old town basically <laughs> i don't really know where i'm walking this is very similar to chiang mai i had no plan over here but um just doing a bit of a walk and show you guys along the way because you're you're seeing it for the first time with me so here we go here we go so romani Look at this street, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this little street, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much justice this does on the camera. I know I say it a lot of times, but this is just incredible. A lot of shops, a lot of vendors also, but a lot of cafes, as I mentioned. Chinese-inspired places too. Wow. One thing I'm generally noticing around here, guys, is that it's mostly Thai tourists around here. People taking photos and videos. I don't see too many foreigners around here. It's quite interesting. Mostly Thai people. Yeah, I mean, just just absolutely blown away by these buildings. <laughs> it's, it reminds me a little bit of Singapore. A bit of Singapore and Hat Yai mixed in together. Um, that's what it reminds me of around here. So, it's just beautiful. I don't really know what to say too much because... Uh, this is just a, a beautiful area. I mean, you guys are seeing it for yourself around here. No beach around here, but it's just mostly little shops and buildings that you can look at and take photos. Then we can do something. Well, that's pretty beautiful. We've got a little coffee store there, 20 baht. Thinking I'm gonna stop for some breakfast, guys. I just had my PCR test, so gonna stop for breakfast it's bloody hot as always here in Phuket so I'm gonna stop for a bit of coffee a bit of breakfast but uh, we'll see what we can come across guys I'll let you guys know when I stop so this beautiful restaurant over here it's got a Phuket local street food type place and we've got that building down there which I'm not sure what that is but we'll walk we'll walk down there I'm just trying to find a, a breakfast type place around here They've either got mostly coffee, coffee shops, they don't have food, and somebody's working around here, so. But yeah, they got mostly coffee shops, no, no real food places, or well, the food places that they do have is quite expensive, so I'm trying to, to find some place in the middle if possible, but if I can't avoid it, I know this is Phuket Old Town, so the prices are gonna be a little bit more touristy but anyway we'll see wow. beautiful little buildings man anyway i'll just let you guys enjoy the view i'm not going to talk too much you guys can just enjoy the view with me as i'm walking as i'm seeing it for the first time wow 
quite super quiet around here. Let's see what this building is up here. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like a beautiful building. Wow. Right at the end here. All right, whoops. That was a dead end over there. <laughs> My goodness. That's what happens when you walk around with no real idea. Guys, I don't know if you can see me. I'm just sweating like mad. Oh man, Bruke is so hot, I swear. The humidity here is just insane. What's up guys? I'm back here in my room, uh, here in Phuket, my hotel room. Um, had some amazing lunch at uh, a place called Five Loaves. It's like a burger place um, in Phuket town. It wasn't that far of a walk from the old Phuket town. It was about a five to six minute walk uh, to the, this place. I was looking on Google um, for, for some restaurants around there because I was having trouble finding, finding a, a place to just have a, a decent lunch and um, and, and, and a meal. I wanted a Western meal. I was looking for a Western meal. So um, I uh, found this burger joint um, and it's called Five Loaves. And they did, funny enough, had Australian beef. So um, I decided to walk in there. It was only a five minute walk from where I was at the time. And I just headed that direction and um, stumbled across this joint. It was really, really great. Great food and at a reasonable price as well. It was like 240 baht for a cheeseburger meal with french fries and coke and it was a really really decent burger as well really really great so um, i do recommend that place guys if you're ever in the phuket town area go and check that out if you're interested in having a good burger great place there as well but um guys i'm back in my hotel room and um tomorrow's the day we uh head out back to australia uh, um, Reluctantly, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'd just a lot of done a lot of reflecting today. Um, it, it's been a, it's been quite a quite a roller coaster of emotions for me. Uh, I'll be brutally honest with you guys. A re really, really uh, big roller coaster of emotions for me today, um, knowing that uh, I do have to go back to Australia um, as well. I'm trying to to think of the positives as well. Uh, because there is indeed some positives, but you know, you always got that feeling like I'm sure you guys have felt the same way For those of you that love Thailand as much as I do when you come here and you know You have to leave and you have to go home. It's the worst feeling. I really really hate it. I really really can't stand it So, um, but yeah guys um, It's been a fun day in Phuket town if you are ever in Phuket and I've said this before in a previous video it is overrated. I do find Phuket overrated. I'll leave that video uh, up on the screen somewhere for you guys to check out my thoughts on that. Um, however, I will say Phuket Town, old Phuket Town anyway, is a beautiful, beautiful place and you do have to check it out if you're in Phuket. I highly recommend. This is a must um, if you're in Phuket. In, in all honesty, um, I would probably avoid the beaches of Phuket and just chill around the old Phuket town. If you want to stick to one beach, maybe stick to one beach close to your hotel. So what I've uh, done on this time around, I've uh, rented a hotel, not rented, booked a hotel in the uh, the Phuket airport area. It's the, it's called the Talang area. I think it's Talang, Talang, something like that. Um, that area, which is where the airport is, um, this hotel is a two kilometers from there. It's called the Bell Hotel, but I uh, will make a video on this. Uh, maybe in my next video, I'll show the room. Um, it, properly in the next video so and, and talk more about that but um, I would recommend staying in this area in the airport area uh, a lot of the hotels around here will also offer free uh, pickup from the airport straight to the hotel because it is very close because Phuket as a lot of you would know uh, from the airports transportation is uh, notoriously known for their taxi mafia so um, it's definitely very very annoying and I would recommend staying in this area and you've also got a great beach to check out that I will be checking out as well whilst I'm here in Phuket on my last day here tomorrow. Nayang Beach, I think it's called, Nayang. There's also the Nayton Beach as well, um, which is uh, which is around here. So, and uh, they also, I've seen on YouTube, a number of vloggers have gone to these one of these beaches around here and the planes that land in the Phuket airport actually go right above your head when they're landing because the runway is like very, very near to the actual beach uh, around here where the airport is. So a lot of vloggers like to go there, make some videos. I will be doing the same thing for you guys. So stay tuned for that video as well in my next one. But um, I'm very excited to, to check that out. That will be my last sort of day in Phuket uh, in Thailand for this for the time being. Uh, we'll be based around this area. So I'm looking forward to that. But 
Today in uh, in Phuket town, I did get the grab. Uh, sorry, I got Bolt. Bolt is also recommended if you're in Phuket. It is cheaper than the Grab app. I think I paid uh, around 400 baht each way to go from the airport's hotel where I'm staying to the uh, old Phuket town area. So 800 baht for a round trip, uh, which is you know quite reasonable because it is quite a distance. It's about 40 minutes, 30 kilometers uh, drive. So um, each way, I mean, so. Um, I thought that was pretty reasonable um, considering a lot of uh, Phuket private companies and private drivers will charge around 800 baht for the same distance each way and I have paid that before previously and I, and I feel really ridiculous now about that <laughs> but yeah that's that's my thoughts on that um, I was in Phuket town today I was actually had to do the PCR test to go back home to Australia um, the airline I'm flying with Jetstar they um, they are informed me that um, because I'm unvaccinated, um, they would prefer me to do a PCR test instead of an ATK uh, antigen test um, to, to do that before flying to Australia. So they wanted me to do the PCR test. It had to be a PCR test, they said. So I did what they said and uh, I went to this clinic called Anda Lab. And a lab. I'll leave it in the name on the screen for you guys. It's actually a really good place for PCR tests because it's quite frankly one of the cheapest places I've seen that I've done uh, for, for PCR tests in Thailand because Thailand um, the tests here are not free the PCR tests are not free so I paid 2,000 baht for that and um, yeah that was the cheapest price I've seen all, all the, the whole time you know I've seen places charge 2,700 baht 3,000 4,000 baht even so this was definitely um, definitely good and they're in the not far from the Phuket town like two kilometers away so so that's why I ventured out to the old Phuket town because I was pretty much in the area anyway so I decided to make a quick trip there to the old Phuket town since I was um, j just after the PCR test so that was really worthwhile and again I do recommend you guys check out Phuket town but stay tuned for my next video guys I'll be checking out um, this area of um, Phuket where I'm staying. I'll show you guys my room properly and uh, you guys can also see the surrounding area which is uh, from what I've seen on YouTube some beautiful beaches um, and uh, some pretty cool sightseeing spots for planes. So that's very very exciting but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos in the future and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos as well and be sure to click the thumbs up button on this video it really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very, very grateful for your time. God is good. Let the journey continue.